Well, it appears you have cleared our background check. Dr. Gru. Oh, and I say you have made a list of some of your personal achievements. Thank you for that. I love reading. <laughs> and I see you have been given the Medal of Honor and a knighthood. <laughs> you had your own cooking show and you can hold your breath for 30 seconds. It's not that impressive. What in the name of what? <clears throat> well, here's the deal, yo. Things have been so lonely since my wife, Debbie, passed on. It's like my heart is a tooth and it's got a cavity that can only be filled with children. You are a beautiful woman. Do you speak Spanish? Do I look like I speak Spanish? You have a face como un burro. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> ah, anyway, can we proceed with this adoption? So, so excited. <laughs> Please tell Margot, Edith, and Agnes to come to the lobby. I bet the mom is beautiful. I bet the daddy's eyes sparkle. I bet their house is made of gummy bears. I'm just saying it being nice. Aw, oh, my caterpillar never turned into a butterfly. That's a cheetah. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, Debbie was a very lucky woman. <laughs> Who's Debbie? Your wife. Oh, hi, girls. <laughs> girls, I want you to meet Mr. Gru. He's going to adopt you. And he's a dentist. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Margot. Uh, this is Edith, and that's Agnes. I got your leg, I got your leg. Okay, that's enough, little girl. Let go of my leg. Come on, you can do it. Just release a grip. Wow. How do you move them? Is there a command? Some nonstick spray? Crowbar? Oh. Okay, girls, let's go. 